Hello everyone. Today I'm going to learn how the values of components change over time. This is a um, typical AM radio 8 transistor. This radio was made in Japan around 1965. It's around 60 years ago, I'm going to disorder all the components and measure them and compare the measure value and the value printed on them to see the difference. Before I disorder the components, just review function on the board. This video run with 9 volts battery and this radio is still works. This is the ferrite core antenna. This antenna core here with the variable capacitor forming an LC tone circuit to select radio's channel. Local oscillator the local oscillator frequency is mixed with output signal from the antenna tone circuit to produce intermediate frequency for 55 kilohertz. And that intermediate frequency passed through three states, one, two, three. And uh, at the end of the last state, of intermediate frequency, the audio signal is detected and the audio signal is passed through the audio amplifier and go to the speaker. Normally, AM radio has only one ferrite antenna here, but this radio has a secondary antenna. Okay, now it's ready to disorder the components.
after measuring all the components. And I have them listed over here. For the ceramic capacitors, they are still okay. Only one is about 30% difference. For the electrolytic capacitor, I noted three of them as a both 30% difference. For the all resistors, they are still very good. Only one of them is like 2.8% different, but most of them is below 2% different. And some of them like about 0%, 0.5 difference here. Yeah. All the transistors are okay. And I know that three of them have different measure. Uh, look like it's a little bit uh, leak, but they are still okay because the radio still working fine. Oh, um, the red and the black over here stand for the red and the black prop of the multimeter. For example, AB 0 0.223 volts. And that's mean I have the red touch on the pin E and the black touch on the pin B. And it's give me the voltage on the multimeter. So the meter is set for diode measurement. And uh, all the capacitor, all the transistor are germanium. So we have the diode forward voltage is about uh, below 0.3 volts. The germanium diode has the forward, the forward voltage is about 0.3 volts here. And the diode's still good. Variable capacitor. On the variable capacitor, it has two variable capacitor together. The first one changed from 9.0 picofarad to 65.9 picofarad. And the variable capacitor number two changed from 8.7, 147 picofarad. This is the variable capacitor, and this is the nominal and measure value. It's a ferrite core antenna. Had the three wires coming out over here. Actually, the two cores, L1 and L2. Eight ohms speakers. And I have measure over here, two values. So I get for the DC, I get 7.5 ohms. And another measure, I got 7.9, 29 ohm at one kilohertz. And uh, I get all the measurements of the inductance and the Resistor values of all the transformer. So this one is the output transformer to the speaker of the power power amplifier circuit, and this transformer is to drive the two transistor push pull at the audio power amplifier, and this is the 
local oscillator transformer. This is the first state, second state, and third state of intermediate um, frequency transformer. And that's all the information I have uh, over here. And you can use them as uh, references. And um, thank you for watching the videos.